Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are starting our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play. Yay, I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this game for such a long time and I'm so excited to uh, to dive into it with you. I have personally already been playing, uh, so I do know a bit of what is to come, but I am so excited to just kind of see what trouble we can get into. Um, there is a bit of an intro, which is why I wanted to talk to you guys ahead of time. Um, so we can go through the character creator together a little bit and then we'll watch the intro and then I'll be back. We're going to be doing this Let's Play, at least this one currently, as more of the way I do my Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, where we will have a character, she will have a personality and all of that. It's just that uh, this game has so many things to like collect and like mini games and puzzles and stuff like that, that it's currently for me, I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to RP it uh, immersively like we would in like a uh, Dragon Age or a Mass Effect game. So we're kind of going to do the hybrid style like Wrath has, where we'll be making decisions and going through certain things as the character with her like motivations and everything like that. Uh, but then I will just be kind of talking to you guys and being your tour guide through Hogwarts and all that that has to offer. So let's get started so here's here's our letter i've been waiting a very long time for my letter <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um we're pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry as a fifth year student term begins on the first of september preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle as you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. And so I know I said I'd take you guys through the character creator, uh, but this is kind of my third, fourth attempt. <laughs> I get so fussy about characters that like, if I start the intro and I'm like, I don't like it, we start over. Uh, I've always been this way with Let's Plays. Just normally I don't take you guys through character creators for RPs like this. Um, so like through um, like other games like Wrath or Sandrock, it's a, it's a little different. Whereas, like, I don't take you guys normally through for, like, Dragon Age and everything, because I literally spend so long in there. So, this is where I am right now. Um, I at first did, like, a different hairstyle, and I wasn't happy, and then another hairstyle, and then there was, like, hair color issues, and then all that stuff, and then glasses versus no glasses. It was a, it was a lot, but I'm getting, I think we're, I think we're finally here this time. Um, <laughs> so let me roll you through what I have left. Um... Ooh, I didn't, like, the eye colors was something I've been, like, debating on, but that green was nice. I was originally, or that, that's the blue, but the green that we also, um, I think it was, was it this eye color? No, honestly, I'm just gonna let my mouse take over for a second. Um, that one, that one was really pretty. And then there was also, um, I love, like, almost white, like, that one's really cool, too. Like, that's, like, a really nice gray. Maybe we go with this one. Ooh, girl, how does that look? Whenever I like pull, like when you pull back, you can't really see the eye color anymore. Um, so that, I'm debating between that one or I was thinking about green too, because they do have some like pretty, like that color is really pretty. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna stop mucking about because I really just want to play. <laughs> Let's go with not that one. So now we're, I think we're getting back to the one I'd originally thought of. And I just think I want to go to the other one that is similar, but slightly. Yeah. I like, I think I like this one the best. I'm kind of curious to see. So mods have already started coming out for Hogwarts Legacy. All right. So I'm super curious to see if we're eventually going to get like complexion replacers and like eye texture replacers and eye colors, or if it's going to kind of be what we're seeing now um which i'm really excited for mods mods always are an exciting thing when it comes to games um but yeah if there is a whole plethora we might have to eventually edit uh, our character a bit at the there is a um a place to edit i think it's like hair 
hair color, stuff like that uh, in Hogsmeade. So if there are some like really fantastic like hair color or hairstyle mods, we're definitely going to have to uh, to figure out how to get that mid game. But this character, her name is Adley. I'm Tave. Tave is after, um, if you ever play BG3, that is the default character's name. Um, I don't know why, but when I started playing this game, I was like, that sounds like a great idea. Tay, for everybody's last name for this game. Uh, we're going to go with I am indeed a student. Voice I could two. very well be able to help you. Okay. So there is a bit of a cutscene. I don't think I'm going to talk through it. So I am going to leave you here and I will see you on the other side. Enjoy. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I.
Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you... Wait! We do... You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. And now we are out of the intro cutscene and into just the prologue of sorts of the game where you kind of learn a lot. Um, I'm really excited to, to start going through this with you what all. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... So it wasn't a typical Professor. dragon. <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I mean, normally when mysterious port keys are created and they take you to mysterious places, it's both bad and good. Uh, which I am anticipating this being. <laughs> or at least Adley is. Because <laughs> none of this is normal. Look it! Oh, this intro is so good. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. No, it hasn't. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. But where did she get and it? I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind indulging me. Oh, no, we're exploring. I'm going with the real <laughs> Mind your step. <laughs> We're leaving Pig in the dust if we have to to get over there. I tell you what, there's nothing that's going to stop me from going and exploring that. Look at though. You start this game and they're like, hey, by the way, you want something cool to explore? And I'm like, yes, please. Thank you. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent <laughs> years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. This, uh. Hogwarts oh. Castle was built he by. He keeps interrupting and me. Is itself a stronghold <laughs> of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Ancient magic is going to be an like a huge overarching theme. And I'm so excited to dive into that with y'all specifically because I feel like it's such an interesting storyline and one that we haven't seen explored sir, in this universe before. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. 
spoke of the good it could do. Could also do some but bad. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yeah, that's actually incredibly true. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Combat time. That was it. That's all the combat you can have. Excellent. <laughs> we'll get more in a minute. So if you are new to the game, these are going to be popping up quite a bit. They are just the uh, tutorial things for um, the various systems in the game. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Yeah. Don't mind me. I just really enjoy using the combat in this game. It's actually ridiculously fun. You'll see as we like open up more spells and stuff, it gets oh, so good. Ah, up there. Okay. We'll go up here. I want to know how Fig is making all these jumps. I want to know how I'm making all these jumps. Oh, wait, is there anything? Hold on. I just want to see. Sorry. Listen, I'm, I was for, see? Y'all, 28 gold. I can't do much with 28 gold, but there we, I have 28 now. That's richer than we were before. Mm -hmm. We're close now. It's just ahead. Okay. Oh man, it's so cool. Steady yourself! Repairo! That like intro with like the magic just now when he repaired everything is just Oh man, it's setting expectations up. <laughs> in like the best possible way. Almost there. I know, cause like if you can do that, what else are you gonna be able to do in the game or watch other people do in the game? You know what I mean? It's so cool. Look at this. Oh man, it's so cool. The detail in the architecture though. Like look at the detail in these arches. That's insane. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. I'm just gonna walk around and admire everything too, if that's cool with you. Cause, okay, mini map. We have it now. Don't mind, by the way, the um, the the weird like in and out in and out that. The input seems to do sometimes. Sometimes my like mouse and controller fight with each other. <laughs> I don't know why. It happens. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. How cool is mm. it? Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Like so many questions. Like there are so many like little hints. I'm sure if you like super dived into this and really studied it. You'd see all these little hints of what is uh, going to happen in the story. But I just love the detail on the arch. I really like I'm really obsessed with it. All right. And then there's something else to find. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. May have been. All right. So this way. I don't know. I just like standing here. Like I've, I think I've started, gotten to this point a few times. Um, and I just, I don't know. I just love standing here and just looking at this all just cause it's like one of those things where if you really love exploration, especially in video games and like, you just want to take your time and like, see it all. You just kind of want to soak it all in so much detail and so much work put into what is an intro area. All right, let's go this way for even more. Like, 
What was that? That enchanted crystallized stone again. Adley! But what could it be blocking? I don't know, Adley, but girl, help me here. Like, look at that. What, like, what is the detail on that? Was that just like a pillar? Was there more detail supposed to be on there? And then that was a door. Where did that door go? See, it's the door. I want to know what's on the other side of it. Okay. Upstairs. Let's go touch the creepy magic. What's this? Creepy magic? What's thing? You're going to touch it. You're going to touch that creepy magic, Adley. And then your life's going to change. I mean, your life's already changed forever. That's never going to be the same again, girl. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the portkey container. I, like, hear the whispering? Like, that always, like... You hear it more and more as we get going into the game, and I so far haven't finished as of recording this, so I don't know if there's an explanation for that noise, but I have a feeling I know what the lore should be if we don't get it, and I find it to be really interesting, like the whispers. What in Merlin's name? Now that Merlin got anything to do Godric's with this. Heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Yo, look at it. How pretty is that chandelier? Look at these pillars. This place is huge. I know we're supposed to go over there, but I'm just gonna... Oh, I missed this the first time. Oh, no plex. Why? Adley's not gonna miss it, though. Adley is gonna be top tier looter. That's actually 100% true. We're gonna literally loot all the things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got plenty of money to get absolutely nothing with <laughs> until later on, but girl gonna be rich. Okay, let's go up and talk to him. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Hi. Nice to meet you. Vault number 12, I presume. Yes. <clears throat> Precisely. Exactly. Vault 12, yes. The key? The, the key. Mm -hmm. Fig. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Thank you. Stay close. Yeah, I'm not going to run away or anything like that. Don't you worry, Fig. We will be with you the whole time. After you. Thank you. This is sure to be safe, right? Like Keep it'll be your fine. Hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I like it how we like giggled, but like slightly nervous giggled at that. Please don't do that. <laughs> how many vaults are there in Green Gods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Yeah. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? <laughs> Heard of it. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? 
Don't ask these questions, Adley. was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. He resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We have quite a distance to go. Sorry, four centuries ago. So, okay. That's something that we're going to keep in mind for what's to come. Because I had these questions earlier. But at least four, like we're looking at like four centuries ago-ish. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> yeah, don't. Hmm. On your way. Nice meeting you. That's not sus. That is not sus or anything. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering Nothing. about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I want to know who owns like the first, like vaults one through 11. Like, sincerely, whose vaults are those? Can I meet them? Here Probably not, are. but still. Not, obviously, the original owners, but, like, the owners now. Or, like, do they not have owners anymore? I mean, when they have the to, right? When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today yeah until today not suspicious at all no i want to loot let me loot first bolt 12 thank you for your help yay they don't I actually have not run into an instance in this game yet where I've been prevented from looting. Like they don't like quick whisk you away like some games do for certain things, which is really nice. So if you run into a cutscene and you're like, I haven't looted yet, don't worry. I'm like 95% sure you're still gonna get to loot in the end. <laughs> there have been a few situations where I've been like, no, I don't wanna leave any loot behind. And then the game's like, LOL, it's just a cutscene, and then you can get your loot. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Goblin. What do you suppose we should be looking for? Something fancy. Sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. Thanks. <sighs> it's fine. Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Just a little. Or was it really? Think. There must be something here. Hmm. Mm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. He really is a teacher. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. I was so confused the first time I did this, like to learn a spell. <laughs> I was like, wait, what do you want me to do? Okay, so Revelio is ours. I use this so much. Seriously, you just want to spam this. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. Hey, quick question though. Can I like take all the stuff that's in here? 14. 12. Wait, are these all really numbered? Wait, why do we have two 14s? And then another. Clearly, whoever's vault this is had their own weird way of organizing stuff, and that's fine. Anything? Revelio. Like, I know I know where we're supposed to go, Revelio, but I was so enamored the, door. the first time that well, I didn't make sure that there wasn't start. anything left on the shelves. <laughs> There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Is it a smart idea to let the student lead the way? I mean, I know I'm like the only way we can get out, but still. Lumos. 
This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay. Are you sure we're still in Gringotts, though? Asking for a friend. Because this doesn't look like where we just were. You know what I mean? Kind of looks like where we had been in the ruins. That's fine, though. We'll just walk around, hope for the best, try not to die. Want to get to the sorting hat? I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. It's so cool. I don't know why, but aesthetically, this is probably one of the coolest things ever. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right. Time to learn it. Look at how much learning we're doing. We're stuck in Gringotts and we're still learning. We're such an overachiever. Adley is like the biggest overachiever. That is what we're going to come to find out. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I don't know why, but whenever like things like this, like like big baddies drop Potato. in, I think it's like the coolest thing ever. Adio. Defendo. Levioso. Deposo. All right, girl. Deposo. Let's do this. Oh, I can already dodge. I didn't realize that. I thought, uh, for some reason you couldn't. Alright, so I think we gotta do two more? One more. Alright, this? Nope! Hold on. Last one. Okay. Done! See what I mean? It's actually a lot of fun. No, no, no. Okay. You got it? Fig. Stay close! Wasn't leaving you, Fig. Don't worry. Doesn't look good, though. 